Hey everyone, Richie here. Thanks for stopping by. And this is a new era of shiny hunting for me personally. As I'm going back to my roots and I'm going to RNG manipulate this Entei to be shiny. Or as I like to call it, RNG mastery instead of manipulation because you're more mastering and understanding how the game works. But nevertheless, um, I... This is my second cut on this intro. I went on a long spiel about why I am no longer interested in the full odds shiny hunting community. But just to make a long story short, um, I just vibe more, a lot more, with the RNG manip community and uh, method shiny hunters. That's the stuff I'm going to be doing moving forward. And um, I figured, why not? And what a better shiny to manipulate than a roamer? especially in fire red leaf green see when I did my first shiny um, RNG manipulation that was back in 2010 it was for Rayquaza and Emerald and at that time fire red leaf green it was known and deemed impossible to RNG pretty much unless you were like on using emulator with scripts at the time um, but so much has changed in the community so much information so much work was put in um, during like the past 15 years basically that I was kind of just doing my own thing outside of RNG just kind of full odds hunting um, doing a lot of the roaming stuff as you know the past like five four years basically um so I can bring that to the table with this particular hunt even though most people who will RNG manip they will not do these um, legendary dogs in fire red leaf green because as you know the IVs are glitched and you can only get really low IVs, and most people who are going to RNG manip, they're going to want it competitive. They want good natures with competitive IVs. Me, I just go for the shinies. Um, but I think that stuff's cool that people can do that, and I'm for sure going to be doing that in the future. But for these, it's more of a sentimental thing, and I thought this would be a great one to RNG manip while recording. <laughs> Because I'm not going to record all my stuff, but this one, since it's a rumor, I figured I had to. Because um, you won't see it very often. And, um, you know, in addition to, like, the IVs being bugged out, it's, you know, people still got to hunt and track these down, even when you're RNG manipping. So, now, I already hit a shiny. I hit a frame. This is, like, the first day I'm doing this in Fire Red Leaf Green. Just learned it, literally. So, um, but I think I can get this, so... Hope this intro wasn't too long, but I'm going to cut it, and I will see you all on the next side once this thing shines. And I hit the frame. Frames, if you know what I mean. And fire red leaf green.
Got him. <clears throat> that was attempt number 34. Here's the uh, DS capture card. All right, so I um I was setting my own odds for myself just to have a little bit of fun. And let me um let me turn this down a little. I was giving myself one out of five chance of hitting the seed and a one out of five chance of hitting the frame. So. I thought I was going to get it around 25 attempts. I was pretty close. Um, man, it's cool seeing that Entei in English. Um, I've gotten this in Japanese before. Um, never caught it, but... So anybody who's just stumbling on this and might be new to this hunt, um, I think a lot of you know that there's a roar glitch. So if these Pokemon roar, they will completely just wipe themselves from the game but only if you use a trapping move like mean look on it also um that doesn't happen in the japanese games um believe it or not i think the iv bug still exists but all right nevertheless it's pr <laughs> so normally what you do in this situation is you run and you save I'm actually going to chuck a Pokeball at it, see what happens. Alright, so he flees, and then you just save. Alright, so that took, uh... Again, 34 attempts. I'm gonna go back and check the exact time. I would, I think it was about two hours of actual gameplay resetting. Um, Cause with this pallet town dex checking method you saw me doing, I get about 17, maybe 18 an hour hunting on English. So, um, and then obviously with RNG, you gotta wait a little bit, but let's take a look and see where old Entei is at. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna cut until I get to the point where I'm gonna capture it, but, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch her in a Pokeball. Usually I let my roamers roam around, but, um, since I'm doing the RNG stuff, I'm gonna capture them, obviously. Um, I can always just do this again and let them roam in a different save file, but let me go ahead and get it to where I capture them, and then, um, I'll cut back. Alright, so I landed the Entei. For purposes of, of this video, I'm just gonna master ball it here. Beautiful sparkles. Um, and then I'm not gonna save and on my own time I'll recapture it with a Pokeball. Cause it's been like 45 minutes and not even getting close. Ironically, it's probably going to take me longer to catch a Santa Pokeball than it did to find it shiny. <laughs> so I just wanted to share the stats and stuff for the, um, like the RNG seed. Throw it into battle and take a look at it. Gonna have to wait for this repel to run out. So yeah, I uh, took a look at the video files um, during this. 
and it actually took me two hours and 31 minutes to be able to find this Entei after 34 attempts like I was saying. Um, the cool thing is on the files here, if you do this, it'll kind of show you the details. Um, so there it is, two minute, two hours and 28 minutes and then the actual um, video, it's like three minutes in when the Entei showed up. All right, so there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Probably gonna do the um, trio, Suicune and Raikou. Um, those will be in different save files, obviously though, so it's probably gonna be a while for those, but in the meantime, hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about this particular RNG, just let me know, I'll try my best. Like I said, I just started um, doing this stuff over the weekend so like two days ago <laughs> and fire red leaf green just mind-blowing to me that you can rng this stuff these days because this was deemed like impossible back in like 2010 um when i was on like the rng scene at that point but if you have any questions let me know and i'll um i'm gonna link a bunch of people who i've watched that really helped me out um and i hope you guys check out their videos if you haven't already obviously I, a lot of these people you probably heard of um i'm a blissey papa jefe and one dude i really like i just stumbled across his channel this weekend is uh nick cadabra really like his videos um so shout out to those guys and of course i gotta shout out hanger room gotta shout out gene and core because we're roaming so